Numpad notation is bad. I had this talk multiple times, but never on video. It's time to finally put my thoughts on the numpad notation out in the world where I can actually link them. For starters, what are those? Uh, the numpad notation in fighter games refers to the way we often write directional inputs for communication purposes. Imagine your stick or a pad is a numpad, and you are on player one side, then the numbers 1 through 9 give you a specific direction to use, like 6 would be right, 4 would be left, 2 is down, etc. It's always assumed you are on player 1 for moves to not have multiple number notations and overlaps, so 6 becomes forward and 4 becomes back. The system goes in opposition to the letter notation, where we use F for forward, B for back, D for down and U for up. Diagonals are written with combinations of those, and we use some input abbreviations when we need those. Like the quarter circle forward motion, the single-handedly most used input in the genre, is abbreviated to QCF in the letter notation, although writing it out as down, down, forward, forward for explanation is also acceptable. And the thing about numpad notation is that I hate it. For several reasons, primary of which is the rigor and passion its proponents exude, claiming it's literally the best in all situations, and so clearly better than the letter notation. On the surface it seems so nice, it removes the language barrier for international players, the single most used argument in favor of numpad. It shows exactly the inputs you have to do for any particular motion. It doesn't rely on a multitude of acronyms like the letter notation does. It's shorter than the letter notation, and it's easy to learn and read, because numbers are famously easy to learn and read, and numpad is a thing everyone is deeply familiar with. How do I put it? Um, each of these positives is a false. Point 1. Remove the language barrier. Aren't numbers international? Don't they provide good interlingual communication between people? I mean, I mean, no. I'm not a native English speaker, as you can hear. And it might surprise you, but we are fine using English for notation. Not because people know English, they, they absolutely don't. But because English has already forced so many things globally to be understood with basic English reading. Even if everyone used numpad notation, the amount of untranslatable English terms in the FGC makes the numpad being international a drop in the sea. To put into perspective, uh, here are some very common fighting game words that my native language just doesn't have good translations for. Parry, reversal, cross up, punch. Yes, we don't have a word for a punch. Kick, the word for kick has certain implications, making it too hard to use directly. Dizzy, fuzzy, tech, stun, launch, punish. That's a short list of pretty basic terms. If you go into the fighting game glossary as a translator, you'll go, oh fuck, how, how in the damn universe am I supposed to translate that? Also, numbers and languages behave very differently. Not all numbers are comfortable to pronounce, especially in succession. Especially when you need to treat it as a single short word. And the numpad proposal seems to focus on that left part on the input, carefully ignoring the right. Hard kick, light punch, left punch, slash, heavy slash, fucking dust, far and close indicators. Don't you want to standardize that first? Yes, I am using Guilty Gear inputs as the main example, because it's Arxis players that try to push this notation onto other games. Of course, there are ABCs and 1, 2, 3, 4s, but you don't want to mix numpad with a uh, number attack notation, and ABC, while certainly good, doesn't fit all, it, it's also still anglocentric. Point 2. Show the exact inputs to do. Oh yeah, all specificity. You know, numpad showing the exact inputs you have to do is actually not a very good point. Different games have different kinds of leniency for different inputs. Rotationals often ignore diagonals, DPs are all sorts of fucked up, and for normal directionals it often isn't important whether you hold down or down back. It's just unreasonable to use such a high precision notation in the genre where the inputs aren't that precise, and there is already an easy to read system that doesn't suffer from that. Point 3. Doesn't require additional learning. Alright, oh, that fucking numpad! I don't know how a community famous for not playing on PC even came up with numpad really, but have you seen modern keyboards? Less and less of them even come with it. Although the very least calculators do still come in this format, and phone calculators follow that. Maybe you should consider the title change, really. Seriously talking, numpad is not an easily available thing, and without it it's really hard to visualize what it means, especially if your mind is already set to read the numbers as numbers. Such a rare attribute, I know. And say you are one of those new players learning the notation. You start typing a message on your phone, and then you have to stop and convert the number line into the numpad, and uh, you just can't. What, what do you do? To compare with the letter notation, if you forget QCF, which is understandable, you can always write down, down, forward, forward, and you don't need to convert, so I press down, which is 2 on the numpad, uh, then slides to 3, and what's the one towards the opponent? Uh, oh yeah, towards the opponent. Apart from anglocentrism, a big problem with fighting game notations is player 1 centrism. 
Far from everyone is good with left and right. Dyslexia, left-right problems is one of the symptoms of. It's extremely common. And I'm not implying that it's only dyslexic people that struggle with it, it's the opposite actually. If you ever learned a new game and accidentally got wrong moves on player 2, when you have the inputs right in front of you, that, that, that's exactly what I mean. Also, uh, having all symbols and notation in the same size is very anti-dyslexic as well. But that's point 4, easy to read. I don't know about you, but I can't read the numpad things as anything but numbers. It's a lot of pedantically unpacked, but can we agree that there's a huge difference in how we read numbers versus how we read words? And that numbers are not exactly very readable due to their type font being so similar? As well as when used with capital letters for the action input, it just smooshes together with no solid first glass distinction. Oh, we can't? Uh, well, um, didn't find any proper hard signs on it, but I have a certain example of history. In Russian there is this one letter, Yo. it's the newest letter of the alphabet, even on the keyboard it's allocated right here where the tilde is. It's not so new that we have it after type properties, but first literals for it started appearing in the late 18th century, which is a mega recent language terms. Long story short, and for real it's a long story, it's been an argument whether this letter is allowed to exist. Artemy Lebedev, an infamous Russian designer, opposed the letter, with the reasoning that it's harder to read with it. Naturally. People with real education came in and corrected that the variability that the two dots present makes it actually more readable by giving words more unique shapes to quickly recognize. What was that for? Numpad with capital letters doesn't give any shape to the input at all, requiring a deeper read every time, while letter notation normally written in lowercase gives quite a bit of separation between motion and attack and provides a shape to follow. The real, non-ironic, solid use for Numpad is explaining, say, what a quarter circle forward means to a new player, but isn't spacing things out and making it very clear superior for an explanation? Like, okay, there are contexts where Numpad is superior, I'm not gonna deny that, but using it as this constant, pretending it's so great, it's like, it's like why? Point 5. Shorter. Okay, is it actually shorter than the letter notation? Let's compare. Cardinal inputs, same length. Diagonal inputs, twice as efficient, but the games where people use numpad notation, there are next to no diagonal inputs. Quarter circle focal, quarter circle back, 236, 214, same. Half circles, is it twice as long or same? DP, one and a half times longer. Charge motions, different approaches, but overall same. Something more uniquely complex, pretzel. 16321, no, no. Electric wing gut fist. 6523 column RP, no, no. 360. No. Let me remind you that numbers are not only the same height, but also the same length and fonts, typically wider than the letter. Pronouncing may be shorter, definitely language dependent, but reading the letters aloud is quite acceptable too, so uh, yeah, efficiency is definitely not the focus. Bonus point 6. Wider context. You know what's really interesting? The game the numpad notation is used on, the Arctis ones, don't benefit from any advantages the system has, and gets all the disadvantages of it while the games where it could actually be useful, like Tekken, it's not used at all. To be fair, I don't have a perspective on all the GG games, but Strife is actually hurt by the number notation. It only uses cardinal directions as basic motion inputs. There is gold use, sure, and using numpad for his specific motion input gimmick is completely justified. Not so much for anybody else. Some actually tried to use the numpad notation for one of my main games, Fantasy Strike. The game that only has forward and back. For real. I'm, I'm just shocked, honestly, how often that happened back when the game was alive. Street Fighter also just uses basic motions and just cardinals for the most part. SF notation is honestly a whole can of expired words on itself, and Numpad just doesn't fit into their system. Tekken Assassin is a game that could maybe effectively use the Numpad notation, but it actually doesn't use motion inputs nearly enough to warrant it. Like, diagonals could be shorter, but you have like one, maybe two of them in the whole shared sequence. Not to mention, we use 1, 2, 3 and 4 as our attack input, so numpad would interfere with that. We would most likely have to double the characters per attack inputs, and, uh, and that's like really bad. Where the numpad notation is actually useful is in these niche cases like gold use, where it's unreasonable coming up with new names for these unique inputs, or a game like motion systems, where unconventional motion inputs don't just happen on one occasion. They are different for every single character, and each character has several. And like, it's good to use numpad for explaining the inputs, but it's never gonna be as good as the main letter notation system, 
and Arxis players forcing it onto other games is extremely infuriating. Stop that, please. But also please like, subscribe and leave a comment.